I'm Bruce Gregory, CEO of Corsa Technology. We're here at the Open Networking Summit 2015. This year at ONS, the entire show is about delivering SDN as opposed to the promise of SDN, which we had focused on over the last few years. As part of that, when we look at what networks require as we deliver SDN, in general, there's three things we require in any delivery. Performance, flexibility, and scale. One of the bigger issues facing the industry as we've moved through this period is in general, pick two. You can have performance and flexibility, you can have performance and scale, you can have scale and flexibility, but getting all three together in the data plane was very, very difficult. That's what Course is all about. That's the product that we deliver, is a full open flow programmable data plane that delivers WAN, performance, scale, and flexibility all in one package. As a demonstration of that, we've done here at the show, in the, uh, in the showcase, we have done a multi-vendor uh, packet optical optimization demo. We've done an atrium demo, again with multiple vendors, indicating the flexibility and the scale of what we deliver. One of the things that we focused on and that we're announcing here at the show, when you think about networking, how to deliver a quality experience to our customers, the quality of the interaction with the network, really what we're talking about, quality of service delivery on the network is more, one of the more difficult things to deliver uh, via SDN. And Course is announcing our metering and QoS here at the show. And that's very, very new in the industry and, and will allow us to again deliver even more flexibility, even more performance. At this point I'd like to turn it over to Dave to do the demo and show you what we're talking about. Hi there, uh, my name is David Whitaker and I'm a member of the product management team here at Corsa Technology. And I wanted to talk to you a bit today and take a, a bit of a technical dive into Corsa's performance-based SDN metering and quality of service offering. So an example of that would be large data set transfer, or as some refer to it as uh, elephant flows, in which perhaps a research facility wants to transfer a large set of data towards a supercomputing center. Without SDN metering and QoS, these transfers may take a long time or may also be unpredictable, both in terms of the duration and also in terms of its effect on the network itself during the transfer. So SDN metering and QoS attempts to make things predictable by using metering, queue assignment, and queue scheduling to ensure that this specific granular traffic flow is pushed to the appropriate resources in the network to ensure that it's a, a speedy transfer and one that does not affect the network in a negative way. So just to walk through the stages of SDN metering and QoS, we've talked about the classification of traffic and how its ultra granular classifiers allow us to push that towards our metering and remark capability. And at Corsa, we, we use a two rate three color meter which uh, allows us to do coloring of frames, as well as the remarking of frames that have been found to be in excess of an information rate. So the outputs of that metering function are frames that conform to a specific committed information rate, frames that exceed that rate, and frames that may need to be discarded to ensure that no negative impact is felt on the network and that you're within any service uh, level agreements that you may have. So once those excess frames are identified, those frames go through another uh, layer, which I'll refer to as congestion management, in which a decision is made prior to the transmission of the frames and prior to it being queued up in an egress queue at a specific port. And that is a discard threshold in which if the egress queue is nearing its capacity and we have broken a uh, discard threshold of say 70 or 80 percent, then the frames that are sacrificed to ensure quality of service are the ex exceeding frames or the, the frames marked yellow. And of course, any frames that go beyond excess are, are immediately dropped here to ensure integrity of the network. So this was a very quick briefing of the technical components of Corset Performance, SDN, Metering, and Quality of Service. Hi, I'm Carolyn Rabb, VP of Product Management at Corsa Technology. Corsa believes in SDN and how it initially was promised and we're, we're firmly committed to that path. So SDN, as it was, uh, has often been talked about, is you separate the infrastructure layer via an open interface from the software layer. And you truly make the software be the brains of the network and you make the hardware be as performant and flexible as possible, but communicating through that 
that southbound interface through an open interface. And in our case, it's OpenFlow 1.3. And what that then lets you do is it actually lets you move towards hardware that is very performant and flexible, that has the necessary scale for the internet, and at the same time, speaking through that open interface, it allows you then to produce hardware that we call lean hardware. It's just the right amount of performant hardware that you need in the network, but fully programmable right from up top, right from the network orchestration layer through that open interface. And that, that then allows you to really deliver on the promise of SDN in an open fashion that, that allows the network architects to have policy aware, dynamic, fine granular networking. Corsa is very involved in ONF. We, uh, our CTO is the area director for the specifications group. And we're very committed through this show, specifically ONS, in also contributing to many showcases to prove that OpenSDN is a very deployable, real way forward for networks.